Did this manager just ask me if I have a coupon for the Jiffy Lube Filet Mignon? I got my oil changed at Jiffy Lube the other day in a company vehicle. And when I pulled up, the guy said we're going to be a little bit longer, right? It's going to be about an hour. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And then the next thing he says, it's the same thing I hear every time that I get to one of these places. The next thing he says is, hey, what brings you in today? I was feeling extra smart cool that time. So I said, I hear you got a pretty good filet mignon. Is it cost extra to get turn that into surf and turf to get a lobster tail? Clearly a joke. That was dumb, right? I'm there for an oil change. That's obvious. Anybody who shows up there is there for an oil change. That's what they do. So when I just said that, I'm being a smart ass. It's a stupid joke. I get it. He could have rolled his eyes. He could have laughed like sarcastically. He could have done pretty much anything. But what he ended up doing is he said, uh, what, what was that? <laughs> and I said, oh, yeah, here, your lobster tails are great. Your filet mignons are great. And uh, I was just wondering if I could upgrade that to a lobster tail, how much extra that would cost. And he looks down at his paper <laughs> And he starts reading off the clipboard, like just reading in his head. As if the answer to my question is going to be on that clipboard. Now, at this point, I realize what I'm dealing with. So I'm like, hey, man, I'm just joking. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing. So I, I can go ask my manager. I'm like, no, man, don't, don't go ask your manager. Because I'm thinking this guy goes and asks his manager this stupid ass question. And he's probably going to get fired. And I don't really feel like getting somebody fired today. So anyway, I'm like, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It was a joke. It's good. We're good. And he walks me inside. So I'm sitting there for a while, about 20 minutes later. And I'm noticing, like, there's four mechanics out there in the bay, but nobody's doing anything. And then the the guy that checked me in walks over and starts talking to the one guy. And then that guy walks in. He's like, hey, Mr. Jameson. So I go up to the counter. And he's like, uh, my employee over here is telling me that uh, – you have something extra you'd like from us. He didn't really understand what it was. Uh, can you explain to me so that I can maybe help you out? I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to tell this guy what happened. It's a stupid joke. I'll play it off that way. So that was just a stupid joke, man. I, I told him what happened, you know, lobster tail, filet mignon, whatever. And the manager looks at me. He's like, um... Do you, do you have like a coupon or something for that? Now, hold on, y'all. Did this manager just ask me if I have a coupon for the Jiffy Lube Filet Mignon? He did. He did. After talking to him for a few minutes and not being able to really get through to him that this was a joke, I figured, honestly, y'all, I figured like, there's a whole bunch of old men that have came in and gave this joke before, right? But they seemed oblivious. They didn't seem to understand what the joke was about. And then he asked me if I had a coupon for it. When I finished talking to him, what I've got out of it, what I believe has happened, he thought that I was referring to some advertisement in a magazine or something that said, get an oil change or buy an oil change and get a free filet mignon. I don't know how you got that out of it, but that's what I got back out of it. And, and I finally am like, no, man, just forget it. It's good. Whatever. I'm kind of terrified of what's inside my car right now. This is the level of talent. Now, all right, there are people out there that are just not good with social interactions. They're amazing mechanics. Maybe that's what happened here. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll even say that's what happened here. I get to still laugh at it, right? Right. But then, after they go back into the shop, another 20 or 30 minutes goes by. It's a while. I'm probably 45 minutes since I got there at this point. And they're not doing anything. So, next thing you know, a DoorDash pulls up, walks over, hands them a bag of food, and then another bag. And I'm confused. They look at the food. They go set it to the side, over to the side. And then... Out of the bag, they pull out some parts. I guess DoorDash now will deliver automotive parts. I didn't know that. I thought that was funny. It really had nothing to do with the other side of it, but um, I, I don't understand why they kept both cars in the bays waiting on parts when there was now eight cars outlined out the back that they could have had in and out in the time they were waiting. 
is what it is. I don't really understand it. But I did get a real good laugh out of the guy not understanding it, thinking that I was going to get guy in trouble when I talked to the manager, but now the manager didn't understand it. That's as far as I'm going with it. I will not say which Jiffy Lube it was. I don't want to get anybody else in trouble. I'm going to go back next month, and I might have to take some video cameras with me. <laughs> do the same thing again, see what happens. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if I should do that. Probably will. That's all I got tonight, y'all. Be good. Catch you later.